Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about the contour tool, and I've done many videos on the contour tool, but not like this one. I never have used the contour tool in the drop shadow fly, fly out. I always use the regular contour tool under effects, contour, and then you have to put in a number, and you see it's not highlighted right now because I don't have anything checked. So I click on my word, and I'm going to contour point twenty. Uh, a quarter of an inch, 0.25, and you go, well, that's pretty cool, but then you'd have to back up and go 0.22, and I was playing around today, let's just back completely up, with no contour, under your drop shadow, you have a contour flyout, and it's really an interactive contour tool, just select on it, and you can actually see it's contouring to the center, just go a little bit further out and contour to the outside. And you could visually watch the numbers or the letters grow together if that's what you wanted or not touching at all. And there you have your contour tool, interactive contour tool. And you can do the same thing with steps and colors and everything you can with the other one. But this is just like the blend tool or other tools that you can actually see it happening and it's pretty cool so that's the interactive contour tool and as always let's just make it a little bit bigger as always just go to arrange break contour apart if that's what you're wanting and then these the contour would be completely separate than your other letters and this is a neat effect if you just want to take your smart fill tool and fill in this contour with a outline basically and give your text a totally different look just fill in all the contours anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching